What's the stupidest thing you've seen a grown-ass adult get angry over? Not being allowed to watch PRN on the computers in the children's section of the public library. The children's computers had a content filter on them to prevent this sort of thing from happening. However. This dude brought a flash drive with his favorite videos on it. And when the computers in the non-children's section were all in use. He decided that the best course of action was to go over to where there were a number of young kids working on homework and playing Minecraft. When a librarian told him he couldn't do that on those computers and asked him to leave. He flipped out. Accused the librarian of being a pedophile and a rapist. And threatened to both sue and stab everyone who worked at the library. The cops were called and they ended up having to him to get him to leave. Was at the bookstore borders with my family. My mom saw a toy car my little brother liked. So she broke the door on it. And then asked the cashier if she could get a discount on it since it was broken. Cashier said she wasn't allowed to give discounts. So my mom called her a stupid fat bitch and stormed out of the store. This is one of the more mild incidents with my mom. Needless to say. I do not talk to her anymore. Edit. One more. As you can probably tell by the first instance. My mom is not a very nice. Nor a very smart woman. My parents are divorced. And we would see my dad every summer since they lived far apart. One summer. All of us kids decided we wanted to live with our dad. So we floated the idea past mom. She went off on us about being ungrateful. Grounded us and took our phones away so we couldn't talk to our dad. I used to work as a cashier at a grocery store and would work the express lane, 15 items or less, and turning away people with hundreds of items was nerve wracking because it wasn't uncommon for grown adults to throw a fit over it. As a senior, I am embarrassed at some of my so called peers with how they act in public. I worked in pharmacy and entitled seniors are the worst. I vow never to be like them. Well my dad's new wife totally lost her shti because she was going through my dad's phone and in a group text message between him, me, my brother, and my sil I sent some pictures I had taken while we were on vacation at Disney. We took my mom, it was me, husband, 8 year old son, my mom, my mill, and my phil, so naturally she was in some of the pictures. That started a 6 month period of her harassing me over phone text email. Threatening me. All around losing her shti. My dad and I no longer talk. So that was fun. I work as a barista at a coffee shop. One day this dude comes up and wants a filter coffee with almond milk at exactly 47 degrees. So I did exactly that. Few seconds later he loses his shti and complains that the drink is wrong. I asked him what was wrong with it and he replied. No he basically shouted and insulted me. That the drink was 1mm too high. I was like what? He asked if only retards work in the coffee shop. As it is it's very easy to see the line and the cup he brought with him. He said this has never happened to him. He feels insulted so on and so forth. I tried to calm him down but he insisted I get the manager. My manager came and banned him from entering the store ever again. My grandma is a type 2 diabetic. When she was staying with my family after Hurricane Harvey destroyed her trailer. She got really pissed off that my stepdad was making healthy meals for her instead of her favorites like fries. Pizza. Hamburgers. Pasta. Etc. My stepdad being type 2 as well. He said he wasn't going to enable her horrible eating habits and let her slowly kill herself. Edit. She's 59 years old. So it's not like she's 80 and has lived a full life and should stuff her face before she dies. Her stuffing her face is what's gonna cause her to die early. Plus. We didn't force her to eat the healthy food. We told her she's welcome to eat what she wants if she buys it herself. But we're not going to be the ones responsible for her worsening health. Literally anything with traffic. In multiple places. Honking can basically mean you want to fight. My aunt had a guy get out of the car and start banging her car and screaming because she passed him. I've had people throw their car in park because I honked after realizing they wouldn't look up from their phone after sitting at a green light. 
Stop being a dick when someone calls you out for being a shitty driver. A friend once called me. Fuming mad. Because the person working the drive through said welcome to fast food restaurant. Would you like to try our featured item today? He was furious about it. Your job is not to tell me what I want. Your job is for me to tell you what I want. He yelled this to me. As if he was talking to the employee. The only reason he called me was to bitch about the drive through employee. I was like dude. Have you never been to a drive through before? They almost always do that. And besides. It is part of their job to recommend the featured items to everybody. That employee was almost definitely instructed to do so by their boss. And would have gotten in trouble if they didn't. My grown ass cousin got angry at her 5 year old niece for liking unicorns because she, adult cousin, liked them first. I wouldn't give him a free refill on his popcorn because we'd closed the stand and thrown it all away already. The security guard had to intervene at one point because he thought the guy was actually going to hit me. My office wore March of Dimes shirts during the month of November. We weren't asking for donations or anything. We were just wearing the shirts. One man started complaining as soon as he saw them. Saying that it's ridiculous how much people donate to children's cancer research when so many more adults have cancer. He continued being loud about it and even started engaging other customers. March of Dimes not a charity for childhood cancer research. But for babies born prematurely. Not only did he look like an idiot. He also looked like an ass. Expired coupons that weren't redeemable because we no longer had the product. Sure you had the product. I was getting a tire patch which is free at the shop I went to. Another lady behind me in line flipped her lid that her oil change was a whopping 80 cents more than the last time she had been in, an 80 cent increase and that it had always been that price before. She then insisted since I wasn't being charged. She shouldn't be either. Even though they were two very different services and mine never had a charge to begin with. They offered her an 80c discount to match her previous price. Because I'm not going to argue with you over 80 cents. She took the discount but was ranting the entire time about preferential treatment etc etc. Edit. Had a mother stalk me on university campus when I reported her son for plagiarizing on three essays in a row after he refused to admit he had purposefully done so. We're talking full paragraphs linked by Turnit into specific web pages. She finally confronted me after a few days, I had noticed her because she suddenly was everywhere I was, and lost her shti when I said that I could not discuss any student in any class with her. Stumped her foot. Went into a dramatic monologue in the athletic center foyer about how she would do anything for her son. Questioned my ethics. Credentials. Belief in God. And was yelling at me about hell when security dragged her out. The moral of the story. Always get them monologuing. A parent at my childcare center was pissed I wouldn't let her take another child's boots. She swore up and down they were her son's. Even though they were too big for him and clearly labeled with someone else's name. Eater. I know my kiddos. And their siblings names. This was an only child. We request first and last name labels on outerwear and it had another student's name on the inside tag. Common first name. Uncommon last name. I found her child's boots for her. Same brand. No label. My mom got so mad she was red in the face. It was about biscuits at a restaurant not being perfect. When I was younger I realized that I couldn't recall a single dining out experience with my mother where she didn't complain about at least one thing associated with the meal. I've been tracking it now for over two decades. I still cannot recall a single time she hasn't complained. She never makes a huge scene. But she has been rude to the wait staff a number of times and has sent food back many. Many times. I can't imagine how much spit she has eaten in her life. A lot of the movie theaters in my area have converted to a choose a seat when purchasing a ticket model. Guy was trying to buy tickets with his daughter and having an absolute fit because there weren't many good seats left for that time slot. And that this process doesn't allow for spontaneity anymore. He's not wrong about that. But he was raging at the poor high school kid just doing her job. 
Worked customer service at a grocery store. Woman brings an F king boxes of canned goods and cereal boxes. No receipt. She says she bought them for a donation but forgot. Just for giggles I scan the item to return and it's not in our system. I take a look at the cans. Expiration date 2005 it was 2008. Look at the cereal boxes. Expiration date 2007. I explain that we can't return her goods because they were purchased a long long time ago. And even if I wanted to. They don't scan into the system. She throws a fit. Straight screaming about terrible customer service. Getting the attention of everyone in the store. My manager comes over and she screams he won't return my goods. My manager says to just do it. I tell him to look at the expiration date. And he says to the lady I'm sorry. But you can't just clean out your pantry and expect to return expired goods. She yelled some more before storming off and leaving all the stuff sitting on the counter. To this day I don't understand how a 40 something adult thought they would get away with that. I worked at an auto parts store for a while. We'd get middle aged dudes who'd get mad at us for not looking for parts that don't exist for their cars. Or for simply asking them to clarify what they're working on. It's incredibly disheartening to see a grown ass man throw a hissy fit all because he doesn't know what kind of car he has. I need pads and rotors for a 2004 Malibu. Okay sir. Here you are. Two hours later. You gave me the wrong parts. These don't fit my 2005 Malibu. I saw a woman lose her shti because boarders wouldn't accept her Barnes and Nobles gift card. During the yelling it became clear that she was aware Barnes and Nobles had clothes but Borders was obligated to accept the gift card because it was Christmas and it would be unfair if her Barnes and Noble card was useless. My father-in-law loses his shti when he can't sit in the front seat. Note. No. He's not super tall 5 feet 10ish and I don't think motion sickness has ever been an issue. I worked at a bookstore in high school and every winter we have a book drive and ask customers if they'd like to donate a children's book when they are checking out. Usually people say no. Sorry but one guy would not stop going on and on about how if he wanted to buy a book. He'd just keep it. Not donate it. So I replied okay. You don't have to donate and proceeded to move on in the process and tell him his total. And he just kept circling back to how ridiculous it was that I asked him to donate a $4 book to kids in schools who couldn't afford them. Up until the moment he left. He's the only person I ever thought was an asshole for not donating. Edit. Just so you all know. He wouldn't be donating money. My nephew is a gymnast and he is very skilled. I was at one of his compilations award ceremonies to watch his receive a medal and saw mother red face screaming from the crowd at me nephew saying he has won too many times. You should be kicked out to give the other kids a chance. She then went on to scream and swear till she was escorted out by security. I was later told by me nephew that her son came up to him not long after and apologized for his mum's behavior. A guy with his kids inside a McDonald's which was inside a Walmart. He brought his order back to the counter and asked the pregnant cashier who doesn't get paid enough to deal with this shti what he ordered. His attitude started out calm enough. But anybody who has worked food service long enough could tell he was going to be one of those customers that just blows up in a rage after they've made their point. He explained that he had ordered a different sandwich and she replied that. No. He ordered what they had given him. He was shouting and swearing. A manager got involved and told him they would just give him the money back. So he took his money back. Aggressively of course. And said to his kids in a loud and self-righteous tone come on. It's. Let's go to a real McDonald's. Bro needed to get over himself. A long time parishioner made a scene before the morning service when she spotted a family sitting in her pew. As I noted some time ago. She insisted that the family move or that she leave the church and take her substantial pledge with her. To their credit. The family, newcomers to the church, didn't move and the woman left in a huff. Much like a child having a tantrum. Had a boss who took a trip to the college football championship game. His tickets were like $1,500 each. When he got back we asked him how his trip went. 
In a high-pitched whine he said everything sucked because his nachos were cold. Can you imagine how much life must suck for someone like that? I mean. If nachos are able to completely ruin an expensive trip like that it must be impossible to find anything that matches his standards for having a good time. An old boss of mine couldn't open his Kit Kat wrapper and so he headbutted a wall in anger. This was a large office. Edit. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. PPL are saying there is more to this. There is. The guy had real rage issues. One time I witnessed him screaming down the phone at someone because it was a wrong number. A wrong number he had actually called. My mother is currently angry at FCK at my wife and I for following her advice and getting a dog to help with my anxiety. Why is she angry? Because we got a big lab. Why is this idiotic? Because she wanted us to get a tiny lap dog. Even though her dog hates anything that's of its size or smaller. Dog is doing wonders for my anxiety. Mother. Not so much. Not having a specific toy. Hatchimals. In stock at the store I work at on Christmas Eve in 2017. We got those Fkas in almost every day. And they sold out within a couple of hours of being opened without fail. This bitch was having a full on hissy fit because we ruined her daughter's Christmas. No. Tracy. You ruined her Christmas. It's not our fault we don't have any in stock at 5. 30pm the day before Christmas UF King Space Cadet. My sister threw a fit and caused a family war when I wouldn't move her belongings out of a dorm that required two flights of steep metal stairs. While I was recovering from an ankle foot injury in a medical boot. She insisted I do it alone. I get a lot of customers who get angry that you can't seat them at the cafe I work at. We're not a very big venue but it usually goes something like this. Staff. Hey guys. How's it going? What can we do for you today? Customer. We just want to grab a table for four. Staff. Sorry. But at the moment we're full. So we won't be able to right now. Customer. Why not? We want to have breakfast. Because we're full dude. It's also amazing how many people genuinely ask us if we can get customers who are already sitting down and in the middle of a meal to move or ask them to hurry up and leave. Some people have zero social awareness. Lady returned her full cart of groceries to the customer service desk because my co-worker with a broken arm was the one who rung her groceries up. She said she didn't like people with bandages on touching her groceries. His arm was in a sling which he keeps under his apron. We didn't tell him what happened because we knew he'd get upset. Edit. I know what OCD is. I'm mentally ill. Y'all. I get it. She might have had OCD. But she might have not. I was working for a print shop. One of our customers started crying because his envelopes weren't the right shade of off-white. He was a lawyer. Reading all these. I wonder how many are people who were legitimately at the end of their rope and this silly thing was just the last straw. And how many were just crazy jerks. My dad is an angry dude. He's been to court ordered anger management a few times. Has been kicked out of places a lot of times. So there are way too many instances to list. I'll tell a couple though. Once we were out to eat. A waitress looked at my baby sister and made a comment about how cute she is. Dad flips the FCK out. Started screaming about how he didn't say she could look at his baby. We were asked to leave. Another one that sticks out is on Christmas. My parents are divorced and the custody order said we had to go back to my mom's house at a certain time. That time rolled around. We reminded our dad and he starts yelling about how a dumb CNTS. Fun times growing up. At the gym and this guy was rotating between three machines. Two of them were side by side and the third was a good 30 feet across the room. A single cycle took at least 20 minutes. I was eyeing one of his machines whilst I squatted. Finally I had nothing else to use so I asked him if he was done. He looked up from his book, Tom Clancy, and said I'm using that. Okay. Wait your turn. Semicolon. Before I can even think to respond a huge dude asks him if he could work in. 
The guy immediately smiles and goes oh sure thing my dude and the big guy gestures for me to use the machine I asked for and left. Semicolon. Dude looked so pissed. I kept thinking he would lean over and hit me with his book. Most huge dudes at the gym are awesome like that in my experience.